Hey, this is Nikki with One Life Students. How do you get more meaning out of your Bible? We talked earlier in the week about the important questions that you can ask when reading scripture to read it in a more meaningful way. Hopefully you have been using that with the scripture that I gave you. If not, go back and watch that video. It was really great. I am gonna walk you through those steps again with a different verse. In Psalms chapter 119, verse 105 is a very often quoted scripture. If you've been around church for any amount of time, you've probably heard this. It says, your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. I want to kind of break this down the way that we did in the lesson. How does this apply to my life? What does this mean to me? We don't want to approach it that way first. What did it mean to the culture at that time? That fancy word, exegesis, the then and there. For us, a lamp is just something that maybe makes our living room a little bit more cozy if we don't want the overhead light on, just a softer, dimmer light. In this time, a lamp was such a useful resource. It gave them a sense of security because they would use it indoors because they didn't have overhead lighting or even in caves where there wasn't even the moon to light that space. It gave them security and it didn't light the whole entire room. It would just light what was in front of them. So they would take one step at a time lighting that path with a lamp. It was this visual image of security, safety, being able to know where their path was taking them. Let's flip that using hermeneutics. That's the here and now. How do we apply this to our life? How do we take this verse, your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path and apply it to us. Knowing that that lamp was such a valuable resource to them and that it just lit a small space at a time, the Word, the Bible, is going to give us guidance, but it's not maybe going to give us the full picture. We still have to walk in faith with our path being lit a little bit at a time by God's Word and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. We may not get that full picture like we so desperately want, but if we'll just keep stepping the word will light our path a little bit at a time, just like that lamp did in that culture's time. How does the scripture point us to Jesus? That is what scripture does. It points to Jesus. We are told Jesus is the word. He refers to himself that way. The gospels refer to him that way. In the beginning, there was the word and the word was with God. When we're looking at that, and this is really how Jesus lived out his life as well, is following this path that was set out for him by God. We get this beautiful picture of how Jesus lived his life, walking that path with Jesus, with the word. We can really point back to Jesus in that way. How do we apply this to our lives? We're looking at this scripture and we're observing that the lamp for that culture meant security, safety, knowing where you're going step by step. Now we're applying it to our lives. We wanna take comfort and security from scripture, allow it to guide our path step by step, taking steps in faith and knowing that God has a plan and is going to guide us through with his word.